Adobe is really pushing the limits with every new feature and update they release for Lightroom. And this recent update is no exception. So let's have a look at the most interesting new features. And you're gonna wanna stick around to see the last one because it's seriously so mind-blowingly good. All right, the first updates you'll find in the mask section of Lightroom. And the masking has already had a ton of updates in the past. And so far, it's really quite spectacular what we can do with Lightroom's masking. But in this new update, Lightroom has further improved the people masking feature. So let's open the masking panel by clicking the icon here. And like we've seen in the past, Lightroom automatically detects the two people in this photo. So let's click on the gentleman here and same like before, you can then select all the different parts of this person. So facial skin, body skin, eyebrows, lips, and so on. But one of the new options here is facial hair. And when I select that, we can create a mask for this person's beard and I can make adjustments for only the beard, which is pretty nice and that option wasn't there before. All right, the second new option is also in the people masking and you can see it right here it's close and that selects the close of that person and you can then do some handy adjustments there and I think it's for example very handy in some cases where you maybe want to change the color of a person's shirt or something like that all right those are two great new additions to Lightroom's masking but the best new addition and one that probably a lot of us have been waiting for for a very long time is this one right here let's create a background mask for this image and have a look here we finally have the curves panel available for masking and I think this is a really really fantastic addition to the masking and it allows you to do some finer adjustments to your masks and honestly it just should have been there a long time ago have a look at this before and after. So really happy that this has finally been added to Lightroom's masking. Another nice little something that is new in this Lightroom update are these eye icons that you can see here on the left of every adjustments panel. And here you can basically see your image with or without the adjustment. So if you just click and hold the eye icon, it will turn off the adjustments. And when you release, you will see the adjustments activated. You can also tell in which adjustments panel you have or haven't made any changes. So the ones where the eye icon is grayed out are unadjusted and the ones where the eye is white have had changes made in the panel. And the old switches are also still available. You can reveal them by holding the Alt or Option key and then you can still deactivate any adjustments panel that way by clicking the switch. And when you then release Alt or Option, you'll see that the eye icon is crossed out, showing you that the adjustments panel is deactivated. All right, now this final update in Lightroom is so incredibly good. You're seriously gonna love this. When you head over to the details panel, you'll see that instead of your typical noise reduction sliders, there is now a button that says denoise. Now the original noise reduction sliders are still available and if you would like to use them, you can just click the arrow here and that will reveal those sliders as we all know them from the past. Now the new denoise function uses AI to analyze your image and that should result in a much cleaner noise-free image without losing too much of those details. One thing to note though is that it currently only works with raw photos so it doesn't work with TIFF files or JPEGs. So this image here is a raw file. This was shot on my Sony a7 Mark III at ISO 6400 and if I just zoom in here you can tell there is a good amount of noise in this image which I would really like to get rid of. So let's have a look at how well Lightroom's new denoise works. I'm just going to click on the denoise button and it will open up this enhanced preview window. And you can see that we only have one adjustment available here and that's this slider right here to adjust the amount of denoise we want Lightroom to apply to our image. So if you move the slider towards the left, Lightroom will apply less denoise to the image. And if we move it towards the right, more denoise is being applied to the image. And I think it usually sits best around 50, but it will of course depend on every image. These other two options, raw details and super resolution are grayed out. And the only way to access them is by unchecking denoise. And then you could, for example, use only raw details which will improve details and reduce artifacts in your image or you can select super resolution which doubles your images resolution and both denoise and super resolution will always have raw details activated okay so back to denoise in this preview window here you can see a zoomed in version of your image to see what Lightroom denoise is actually doing and when you click and hold it will show you the image without denoise and when you release it it will show you the image with denoise applied 
right to it. And you can also click and drag to move the preview. And when you click the little magnifier icon here, that will zoom out and allow you to click anywhere on the image where you then want to zoom in and look at the details. So let's click on the eye of the bird here, for example, and it will zoom into that area. And right here, Lightroom will show you an estimated time of how long it will take to complete this denoise. So after you click Enhance, Lightroom will actually create a new DNG file with this denoise applied to it. So it will duplicate your image and then save it as a new denoised DNG file. And that's why you also have the option to tick this box that says Create Stack. Lightroom will then create a stack, which is like a group with this new DNG file and then the original image together just to keep things organized. So let's click Enhance and while Lightroom is creating this new file, you can see a little spinning wheel here next to the Denoise button. And at the top here, you can see a progress bar running. And when it's done, you can see a new file has appeared in the film strip and Lightroom also automatically adds Enhance-NR and our for noise reduction to the original file name. So we can just select these two images and then hit the shortcut C to see a side by side comparison. And you can tell it's done an absolutely amazing job at cleaning up the noise in this image. But at the same time, there's also still beautiful detail in the feathers and for example, around the eye here as well. So it really looks fantastic. Now let me show you another example of this Northern Light shot that I took last month. And this was shot again on my Sony a7 Mark III, this time at ISO 2000. So here on the left is the new DNG file that Lightroom created after applying the noise to it. And on the right is the original raw file. And look at how beautiful it has cleaned up the snow and the shadow areas here. But also in the sky, it's done an amazing job at cleaning up all this noise. So really incredible stuff. And you can probably tell I'm very excited about this new feature. Now, if you want to learn more about the amazing things you can do with Lightroom's AI, make sure you watch this video here where I edit an entire image using nothing but Lightroom's AI. And I'll even show you how you can make your own custom AI presets.